guys welcome to part two of the speedwayno v0.3 install um today we're going to be terminating the other end of the harness and let me walk you through the process um the lighting isn't the best but let me try and walk you through what i have here is the speed <laughs> speedwayno v0.3 with a loom front on there and this is what we're essentially trying to do Okay, from this end, the other end of the harness we created, we strip the ends, and from here, we cut from the back of the original harness, which is, where is it, where is it, this pin, this is the first one I'm going to do, 12 volts, so I cut it here, I leave about a, an inch, just in case, you never know, I want to connect it back, which I highly doubt, but, yeah, so this is the wire, I stripped it off, and essentially, be joining let's see if I can get a good shot for you essentially we'll be joining these two wires and we'll be carrying it along to all of these pretty simple process so in the end this plug will roll it back a bit tight wrap it tape it so we'll have a really neat install yeah but I'll pick up when I have some more progress for you guys okay, so we have four wires in just for that take a break to show you um, so this is essentially what we're trying to accomplish so we'll go into here so when we're done this will be like this what you don't use like I said you can tape them up like that or let them be however you feel you want to do it so you can have a neat end result yep so now that you guys get the idea I'll just go into soldering up everything there we go guys, the semi finished finish product. Um, still need to loom this. Uh, this is the top connector pretty much taped into place. I do need to say that um, I soldered this connector into here with the ends cut off from the original harness. You don't need to do that. From here you can splice it directly into there, you don't need to cut it, so it's easily reversible in my case. I don't plan on going back to the stock issue, so it's sort of a permanent install for me, but you can do it either way. Um, let me hook up the ECU, let me show you how everything will look. One second. Okay, ECU hooked up, again without the enclosure, and we still need some loom on the other end, but you guys get the picture simple nothing complicated about it if i can do it so can you guys um next step i'm gonna hook up the laptop um i think i have my laptop with me but if i do the next clip will be me starting the ecu or the car on this ecu i'll show you what to do to get this thing started okay last step um we need to ensure that we have the correct board selected what i have here is my arduino with my old tune on, on there so we're gonna go into settings uh, engine constants and we're gonna ensure that we have the v0.3 board selected prior to this i had the notc so ensure that you have your v0.3 board uh, double maybe a good time to double check your wiring make sure all your sensors are reading correctly mine are my white band i did not hook up hook it up just yet so my white band will be off and I mm, think that's about it so this car should be ready to start um, I can do this because I'm sitting in the passenger seat so I'll get it started and I'll get a video for you guys so we're gonna attempt to start um, lighting is a bit poor but you guys will get to see this thing fire up um, there we go Seems to be good. Switch up my dash a bit. Voltage, charging voltage seems to be good. Uh, we don't have any coolant in the engine right now, so the attempts are going to be quick. 
other than that everything seems to be working just fine there you go guys like I said nothing difficult about this if I can do it so can you like always leave a comment leave a like and ask anything you feel like if I can answer I will if not I will direct you to whoever I feel can answer you till then Stay safe guys.